So help me God. An emotional Father Mark Bristol being sworn in as the Navy's newest chaplain. The ceremony taking place at St. Anastasia Church in Douglaston, Queens, where the priest has been assigned. I feel moved. Um, moved spiritually, um, moved physically, brought to tears. Father Bristol is no stranger to the Navy. The Brooklyn native enlisted in 2002 at the age of 17. He was deployed throughout the Mediterranean on the USS Mount Whitney, the flagship for the 6th Fleet. During his naval service, he heard God calling him to become a priest. Now he's returning to the sea to meet a need. Currently, there are less than 47 priests in the military, and many of our sailors, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen go out to sea without the ability to go to Mass or receive the sacraments. Father Daniel Mode, a friend of Father Bristol's, presided at the commissioning. A naval chaplain himself, Father Mode says the need for more chaplains is extreme. Father Bristol will be transported by helicopter to other ships to celebrate the sacraments. Think about the military, the Navy, the Coast Guard, and the Marine Corps. If you put all that together, that's about 600,000 uh, persons uh, who are deployed throughout the world. Uh, of that, about 20 to 25 percent are Roman Catholic. Father Bristol is returning to active duty on July 1st. He'll be stationed on board the USS Theodore Roosevelt aircraft carrier patrolling the Pacific for two years. He'll minister to nearly 6,000 service members of all faiths. I'll be meeting their spiritual needs, um, providing care um, for those of not of the Catholic faith, of any faith, uh, and also advising the commanding officer on uh, issues of morale and ethics. Henry and Mary Maturoli, parishioners of Our Lady of Miraculous Medal in Ridgewood, have known Father Bristol since he was a seminarian. They say he makes a perfect fit to be a chaplain. He's a very charismatic uh, priest. He works very, very hard. He cares about all types of people. And as he leaves the Brooklyn Diocese, Father Bristol describes how he feels towards the men and women he says have been instrumental throughout his vocation. A tremendous amount of gratitude because you formed me to be the priest that I am today. And wherever I go, no, where the, no matter where I go in the world, I will always be a Brooklyn priest. A Brooklyn priest serving God and country. In Douglaston, Queens, Tim Harkman, Currents News.